And we know about music made here, we know about literature from the South, but really the South was kind of, I think, generally viewed as an artistic backwater. Now, the whole point of the show was really to, to explore this idea that if you look in kind of standard American art history textbooks, like the kind that, you know, too long ago now I would, have, I would have studied in college, really the South is almost entirely absent from that history, and especially during this moment. The South, during the first half of the 20th century, was a place that was in, in transition. It was changing, it was growing. So we see all of that reflected in the work, and there are also serious artists here who were um, documenting all of that and exploring abstraction and, and other things as well. When I moved to, to Charlotte and got to know the Mintz collection, that really inspired me. I was finding works by artists that I hadn't known about. I saw that there was really a, a rich in artistic environment throughout the South during this time period when, if you looked at the standard books in art history, you'd think there was nothing going on. And so really, um, I, I think the biggest thing about the show is, is to kind of flip that notion that the South was, was quiet or that artists weren't trying new things. Um, during this time period. Um, I think the show really demonstrates that it was a rich, vibrant culture and there's a lot going on. And it got people to think about how does that relate to my experience of the South today? Um, because I think a lot of what was going on then really echoes with our own experience of the South today. So, you know, a city like, like Nashville or a city like Charlotte, all of the issues that you find in the show are really, I think, still at play in our own daily experiences. So hopefully people can, can look to the past and see how it relates to our present day.